Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to talk about a little bit of a problem that's just started to happen because Clean Fight 2.0 has just come out. Now, we did a video a while ago on Clean Fight 2.0, what it was about, what it potentially could mean. So if you want to know more about that, then go and have a look at that video. But the fact that Clean Flight 2.0 is now out does mean that the graphical user interface has been updated and I've had a number of subscribers getting in touch a little bit worried that when they're plugging in their older models like this QX90 here that we fly a lot, then we're getting an error message. And that error message is basically saying, I'm not gonna to talk to this anymore. You need to update your firmware. Now for those pilots that actually don't want to update their firmware and just want to change the PIDs or the settings on their model, that sounds like an awful lot of messing about. The good news is, is you can still download and run the older version of the graphical user interface alongside the newer version of CleanFlight so you can manage these machines. So let me just show you the actual problem that people are running into. And uh, this is for those of you that haven't seen it. So here we are in CleanFlight, the brand new one, 2.0, and we've got our QX90 plugged in. And this is the error message that we get. Now, if I just cancel out of this, and uh, type in version in the bottom, you can see the reason it doesn't like it is because it's an old version of Clean Flight. Now I don't want to completely install everything, I just want to be able to change settings. So let me just close this up and open the old version that I've installed so I can still maintain these older machines. And here we are, it opens up. You can see it's the old version in the bottom right hand corner. Click connect. And now it connects fine and I can get to all the stuff that I could normally do it with. So in this video, let me very quickly show you how to do this. So if you're in the same situation, you're not stuck. Now, all the stuff we're going to talk about is actually already in the Clean Fight Wiki. But let me show you how to do it. And then if you've never done something like this before, you're not going to get stuck. If you go into the Clean Flight Wiki, I'll put a link in the description, click on the Clean Flight Configurator settings, then in here you'll notice that there's a number of releases, just above that bar that's like a yellow, red and orange colour at the top. So it's actually documented in here what we need to do. This is the process that we're going to follow. So the first thing we need to do then is to download the software and to put it in a directory on our computer. So we're going to go and click on the number of releases here in the middle, and then once we've got that, we can download the latest version. So I'm just going to download the latest zip file for 1.2.4, which is the last version before it changed to 2.0. That's going to download the zip file. I'm going to unpack that zip file and put it into a directory where it's going to be nice and safe. So here are all the contents of what we actually get. Now, the next thing we need to do is to install this older version of the graphical user interface manually into Chrome. Now, that sounds horrendously complicated, but it isn't. Again, it's documented in that how-to. First thing we need to do after we've downloaded everything is we need to go into Google Chrome and to go into Tools and Extensions. Now, if you can't find it in the menu, just click on More Options and there is the extensions. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that the developer mode button is clicked on. And I've got a couple of other developer things in here for some of the beta testing we've done in the past. So if you unclick that, it'll get rid of all the stuff that's there in developer mode. Once you've got that there, then you can add the old GUI to be part of the Google Apps stuff so you can run it again. So what you need to do here is click on this bit in the top left hand corner to load another one to the directory that you placed it in. And you don't have to click on any files and you just click OK and then it should appear and there's the older version. Now when we go into the application browser in Chrome we can see two versions of the application. One is the latest and greatest that will be updated as CleanFlight continues to build on the beta flight code. And the other one is the old version that you've just installed that you can open and use with your older models. The trick is if you just hover over it, it'll tell you the version number. Uh, the icons are slightly different, but uh, hopefully that helps those of you that were panicking a little bit, thinking that you were going to be stuck trying to access some of your older models. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. We try and release at least two videos a week, usually a quick tip on a Tuesday and a more in-depth video on a Friday. And sometimes we manage to get a few more out as well. If you're interested in radio control, then the playlists are useful to have a look at. Anything that's called Introduction To is an organised set of videos that teach you from first principles about the subject that you're interested in. But we also have information about the majority of popular open source flight controllers, how to build quadcopters, fixed wing models, reviews, setups, unboxing all kinds of things in here as well. So if you haven't already had a look at the playlist, then I'd recommend going have a look through here to see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Finally, we do also provide updates through things like Twitter, Instagram, and also post all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse as well. So if you like what we're doing here on YouTube, have a look at those things and subscribe to us there and you'll find out what we're up to in advance of the videos coming out here on the channel.